you guys, Frank with Yeah Circle. Today I want to uh, approach one of those topics that's just the total flame war. Um, multiple people today have sent me pictures of female space marines going around. And frankly, let's kill it. Let's just kill why there aren't female space marines. Let's do it from a scientific standpoint though. Let's ignore the fact that uh, they're not genetically compatible, right? Let's just take that out of the fluff. Think about this. Marines are recruited from the very, very best. The Astartes are the best of the best that that planet has to offer. People die trying to get into the Astartes constantly, and nobody gives a shit. They're like, yeah, well, that happens when you try and become Astartes. What are the best of the best on a planet? How good are they? And would women be there? The answer, of course, is no. And a lot of people are going to get real shitty about this, hence why it's a bit of a flame war. Um, but think about it. The very, very, very best women, they can't compete with men. It's just the sexual dimorphism of the species is just such an extent. That means the uh, differences physically between a male and a female are so pronounced that they cannot reach the men's level. Now, don't get me wrong, there are women out there who are incredibly capable, just as smart, just as strong as men. But at that top end, at the Usain Bolt end, the Olympic end, where the very best that a country has to offer compete against one another, the women generally don't do as well. In fact, one of these articles on screen right now, they went back to the 1950s and had a look at where women and men sat and they said are women going to catch up to men well they kind of have in a way because women are setting world records now such as running sprinting that are faster than men set back in the 50s however men have also gotten better in that time and men are setting world records now that are a lot faster than men in the 50s so men are still on average, 10% is the performance ratio. Better than women at all of these speed world records, that kind of thing. Now, that alone is your first sort of indicator. All right, men are consistently outperforming women in every single athletic sport across a wide variety of different things, from marathons to swimming to medleys, um, breaststroke, freestyle, whatever. Men are outperforming women. What about strength? Are men outperforming women in strength? Well, what do you think? Let's look at uh, weightlifting, for example. Let's go to the strongest female category. Let's go to uh, 90 kilograms plus. Current world record held by Tatiana Kasharina of the Russia, or Russian Federation. 348 kilogram combined snatch, clean, and jerk. That's pretty good. That's pretty decent weightlifter. A lot more than I could do. Um, I reckon, because I'm not very fit anymore. Oh, let's just face reality. So that's in the 90 kilograms plus category. How much her body weight. Let's go to men's. We can go down to 85 kilos. So not even as physically heavy as her. 396 kilos combined. Snatch, clean and jerk. 348. 396 so 48 kilos difference there in what a man can lift at that same weight threshold if you take it to extremes the biggest guys competing in the olympics 477 kilos so about 130 kilos or 129 kilos more than the strongest woman at the olympics that's basically 30% more that's just, that is a big noticeable difference so extrapolate this to the Astartes right you are recruiting space marines on a planet you want to recruit men because they're going to be faster they're going to be stronger maybe more intelligent that's not necessarily re related at all to how physically imposing a person is um, but definitely strength resilience that kind of thing they're probably going to go for the guys because here we have it. The very best of the planet are far outperforming the very best uh, females. 
uh, does this make me a sexist jerk? Not really. This is just black and white reality of it. I don't need to talk about Gene Seed not working with women or things like that. And people go, oh, it's just a fluff reason. Other people would say, okay, well, you know, maybe women have caught up to men in some areas and, you know, the Imperium needs every soldier they can get their hands on. Why wouldn't they use women? Well, for a start, you generally don't send your women off to war because if you lose your women, it makes it a lot harder for the species to reproduce than if you lose men. Like, one guy can reproduce with a lot of women. Women, however, are sort of restricted in how many partners they can reproduce with over a set period of time. Because, you know, once they get pregnant, there's nine months that they can't be doing anything else. Whereas a guy, he could be having sex for that whole nine months. So that's generally why you don't send your women off to war. Um, you know, common sense. Of course, common sense isn't very common. So people will turn around and go, well, you know, what if you made females into a studies? So you got someone like this uh, Tatiana Kasharina and you made her into Astartes. Well, if she was made into Astartes, she'll be 30% weaker as an Astartes than uh, Lesha Talakades. Yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's noticeable. Um, here's a little analogy I put together. Let's say you're, you're building a car, a race car, something like a dragster. You can build it with a six-cylinder engine or an eight-cylinder engine. Well, let's say you build that six-cylinder engine. You can turbocharge it, supercharge it, you can bore it, stroke it, cam it, you can play with the injectors, run on methanol, do all these funky things with your engine. And yeah, you're going to outperform that V8. But if someone puts all that same effort into the V8, they're going to vastly outperform your six-cylinder. So, same thing with the Astartes. If you want to pick the very best, because you know you can only produce a limited amount of Marines, right? That's, that's the situation. It's not that uh, they're constantly replacing their losses as such with Marines, and they, they can recruit more. It's that they pretty much can only recruit what they can a lot of gene cities destroyed that kind of thing so you want to get them the most bang for your buck you won't go out and recruit women it just makes no sense now some might say oh yeah but what if you know these women are from like a high intense gravity world um where they've they've developed this peculiar musculature and they're now stronger than men and uh why would be the first question like any world where that happens, obviously people are reproducing. If they're reproducing, men are probably on that world. And if men are on that world under the same circumstance, they're probably, you know, bulking up themselves. So, <laughs> you see where I'm going with this? Like, someone will try and come up with the fluff reason, but at the end of the day, it's women are physically inferior in that top 1% than men. It is what it is, okay? Like, someone's going to get shitty about it. I'm not saying all women, like, there's so many women, uh, men that Tatiana Kasharina is stronger than. She's stronger than hundreds of thousands, millions of men across the world. She is stronger than. But the problem is, the millions of men across the world are not that top 1, or 0.0001%. The top 0.001% are the guys that get recruited as Astartes. There's a million. In the whole Imperium of Man, there's a million Astartes in the time of the 41st millennium. A million Astartes out of trillions and trillions of people. So that gives you an idea, they might recruit a person, one single person from each planet to fill out those kind of numbers. Why would they pick a woman? Even if they could physically turn a woman into a marine, why would they pick one? You're not only removing um, a female that could procreate from the pool but you're also leaving more guys who are capable soldiers in that pool so it, it makes no sense um, oh by the way interesting fact I came across this guy here Paul Anderson holds the world record for uh, the amount lifted by a human being anyone want to take a guess it's a lot more than the 1200 pounds written here Paul Anderson 
he uh, lifted 2,850 kilograms. That's over 6,000 pounds. Compare that with uh, Tatiana Kasharina. But of course, she's doing a snatch and a clean and jerk, which, you know, you can't compare the two. He's doing a squat, whereas she has to deadlift it and then up into the air, which, yeah, a bit of a different kettle of fish there. But still, wow. 2,850 kilo, three tons, essentially. Three metric tons. Why would you, why would you pick a female Astartes? Oh, and anyway, the law says you can't make women into Astartes anyway because it's Gene C based on men, designed to work with men. It works on men's physicality and Y chromosome, all that, blah, blah, blah. Uh, identify as whatever you like, but it ain't gonna help. It ain't gonna help. 